Welcome to video 1 on the Yamaha Montage and Modix synthesizers. This video is about how we can update the firmware. First we have to check the firmware version that we already have and to do that we press the utility button which gives us this screen over there we tap the settings and then system and that should give us here at the bottom the current version of the firmware installed and then it's time to check if maybe Yamaha has new firmware so we go to the Yamaha website, find the Montage or Modix synthesizer and then on the download page we can see if there is a new version and in my case there was so I just downloaded that and that gave me a zip file and I unzipped it and this was the content, a PGM file which is the installer or the firmware that's the file that we have to copy to a usb stick and then there are new user manuals because there was new features in this uh, firmware and there is also a text file that contains the instructions well we have this video now by the way if you maybe like to read it back and see some images there's a link below that goes to an article where you can find it all back again what we need to do is have a USB stick which is empty because it says that these, this PGM file should be the only file on that stick and the stick should be formatted on the synthesizer I don't know why uh, I did it and the end result was a standard FAT32 formatted stick I bet we could have done that on the PC also uh, as long as you take care you select FAT32 but yeah I, I, I'm, I was not quite sure so I did it on the synth the challenge was though that this readme file didn't say anything on how to do it and also the owner's manual told nothing about formatting a disk it was only in the reference manual on page 200 that I found a small uh, text on uh, formatting a USB stick so let's do it what we need is a USB stick of at least one gigabyte and we place that in the back of the synth where it says USB to device then uh, what we do is press the utility button and, oh, and tap content and load and that should give us a screen where we already can see our USB stick uh, what we do now is tap it so that the uh, rectangle around it becomes white it is now the active stick then we tap the job field over here which makes it green and then for the first time we finally see the format button that we can tap right right let's do that and that brings us to this field to confirm if we are certain yes of course we are and then we can give our stick a name when we tap done now it starts to format it which should take only a couple of seconds when it's done we can take the stick out bring it to our PC and copy that firmware file onto it and take care that really is the only file on that disk then we can return to the synth where we could do the firmware update but there is another important step that we need to do we can have user data files that we made ourselves new performances new sounds new songs uh, what have you and uh, the update can destroy all that work that's not what we want so we need to make a backup and to make a backup we need another usb stick if you already have it then it's fine if you didn't then we format another stick with the same steps that we just took 
With that second stick, we are going to make a backup. And uh, luckily that's not too difficult. Um, a five step process in the utility screen. We go to contents, then store and save. Then we select here backup file where it says content type. And uh, that gives us an opportunity to save as a new file. Uh, if you want to, if you already have a stick with multiple folders, over here at the top you can select the folder where you want to save your backup. So let's tap this save as new file and then again it asks us for a file name and then we can tap done. Now we have to power down the synth, we take out the backup stick and we put in the firmware update stick. And now comes a little trick. To start the synth again we do not just press the power button at the back but first we press uh, simultaneously the cursor up button and the utility button, both. And while we hold them down, we press the power on button. And after a couple of seconds, the logo should come up on the screen. And when that logo shows, then we can release these two buttons. If all went well, then this screen pops up. And uh, the first thing it says that it is searching for the updater. It can take a while. And when it found it, it says so. And then it does a couple of steps. And every step can take about a minute. The whole process can take some four minutes. So please be patient uh, and don't touch anything. And also hope that your power doesn't fail. Uh, if something weird happens, just try to do this again. And the uh, README file says if there really is a trouble and the thing is bricked, yeah, then the only thing you can do is contact Yamaha. When it is totally done after say four minutes, uh, the final statement here is please turn off. Well, of course we do that, we turn it off. And a couple of seconds later, we turn it on again, because we want to check if all went well. And we have to do a final step even. Go again to the utility screen by pressing the utility button, then settings and system. We should see the new version number at the bottom here. I hope all went well. The final step to do is initialize all data. So tap this button and then a progress circle will show and it can take again a half a minute or something like that. At that moment the synth is completely ready for use. One final step. We made a backup of all our user data and it's time now to restore it. So on the utility screen go to content and load. The content type, uh, we select backup file. If we have stored it in a different folder, we select that folder over here. And then we should see all the available backup files. Tap the one that you just made and it should start to load. Also that takes a couple of seconds and then we finally are completely done. Well, it's nice that uh, Yamaha keeps updating uh, the software and keeps adding new features even because this, new, this latest version, uh, well, it has a couple of interesting new features and also new sounds. So that, that's really nice that they keep doing that. This was it for the firmware update. Well, maybe see you back in a future video.